Well, hello, everybody. We hope that you are enjoying the program. I am so delighted to have with me on Act 3 in our fabulous Zoom booth once again, Jenny Short. And we are going to talk about the uh, upcoming fabulous gala that we spoke about recently. Can't wait to talk about it. Hey, how are you, Jenny? Welcome back to the program. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me back. Well, thank you so much for coming back. Listen, I am so excited about this upcoming gala that it just made sense to me that we would come back together and talk for a few more minutes about it. So how about for our guests who maybe haven't had a chance to watch the previous episode, uh, why don't you let us know exactly what's going on in our community? It's so great. I'm so excited. So on October 5th, uh, Island Crisis Care Society is going to be hosting its first annual Creating Hope Art Gala at the Vancouver Island Conference Center. And we're just super excited uh, to, it's gonna have live music. It's gonna have a showcase of client artwork, community artwork, silent auction, dinner, drinks, the whole deal. Dinner, drinks, the whole deal, and a reason to put a pretty dress on. And, you know, I'm a sticker for wearing pretty dresses and doing a little bit of, you know, work for the community while at the same time glamming it up and having a fun time doing it. So what inspired you to put this gala on? So we've done uh, art therapy in our supportive housing buildings for the past couple of years, and we have seen such a benefit for our clients through it. And so from that, we started doing internal art shows at each housing site, which were so great. And we saw a huge boost just in our client confidence from that. And we, but we can't have uh, the public come on site. So yeah. we were just really wanting to find a way to be able to share all the amazing things that we get to see with the community. So we decided to put on this event that got to showcase some of our client art uh, we've had some amazing pieces donated from the community and just really highlighting uh, the positive that we're seeing in all of our programs every day. And the programs that you do are really outstanding. They help a whole lot of people in our community, particularly as it relates to mental health and addiction and family supports. Can you talk a little bit about your program so our audience knows what their money will be going towards? Definitely. So the proceeds specifically this year are going to be going to our newest program, which is called David's Place. Mm -hmm. And it's a supportive recovery project. So it's brand new uh, to us. And what this will offer is for people who have started their sobriety journey, uh, a place that they can stay for up to 18 months and just really build those healthy habits and gain back those skills that they need. And what's really great with this program is it has no financial barrier for those in need. So it's just there for anybody who uh, needs to make use of that service. Fantastic. And the gala itself, where is it going to be? It's at the Vancouver Island Conference Center. Oh, of course. The best place in town to have a big <laughs> gala, that's for sure. Um, I also, I know you just spoke about it a few minutes ago, but for, I'm, I was just with a friend recently who said, are we going to be able to dance our faces off? And I, <laughs> so you, you did mention already, but tell us a little bit about the band. So we have two bands who are going to be performing. So uh, kicking off the event is going to be an Nanaimo duo called From the Earth. And they're an amazing acoustic uh, mm. duo that are going to be performing. And then uh, to carry on the rest of the evening is a Victoria group called the New Groovement. And they're a six piece band. And so it's high energy, live music, instruments. Uh, they have a great selection of live music or original music that they've done. And then they also mix in some covers when they're doing a bigger event like this. So it's a great band to watch if dancing isn't your thing, but it's also a great one to dance to. So we will be setting up the tables uh, around the dance floor. Fantastic. Fantastic. I know I have friends that are coming into town special for it. Is there is I, I know I'm planning on getting super dressed up because that's what I like to do. But is everybody like is there a dress code? Can people just come as they are? Like, tell us a little bit about what you have in mind as a vision. Our hope is cocktail attire. We're really excited yeah. to give people that chance to, you know, kind of take that outfit out of the closet that you don't get to wear very often and just have a special night out. Um, but that's also, people can kind of take that and run with it. So mm -hmm. um, we don't want somebody to feel like they can't come if they don't want to uh, dress up that much. So I think it's going to be a, an amazing array of, of clothing at this event. 
Yeah, and it's about the cause, right? It's about raising money for a fantastic cause. David's Place is going to certainly help so many people within the community itself. And having a low barrier opportunity for people really means a lot. Um, I'm just, I'm curious about what inspired you to to do a gala. I mean, that's something that we, we I know we've seen a few galas in our community over the years, but that it's not that often. Tell us a little bit about why you decided to do a gala. So for us, um, because housing can sometimes be a heavy topic yes. and we all see the need that's happening uh, in the community right now, um, it's really easy to get swept up in, in what's going on. And so we really just wanted to take a moment and really celebrate the positive things that are happening amongst everything that's going on. So having an event that just is exuding happy positive mm. all those types of things because we get to see those things happening within our programs um but it's not something that always is easy to share publicly mm -hmm. so we just wanted to give people a chance to come out enjoy the evening whether or not they knew who we are um we hope that they come out and enjoy what we are putting on and maybe take a moment to learn a little bit more about what we do um and just be able you know to have those conversations in a just in a fun evening sounds like it's going to be a real good time i'm and and a reason to get gussied up is all i can think like i mean there's always a reason to get gussied up when when you're doing something for a good cause um you also mentioned that there was a silent auction what kinds of things have you got uh in the silent auction so the community's really stepped up uh we've had some amazing things donated we have uh so grant lear donated an original painting we have uh, a flight for two from Nanaimo to Kelowna, uh, that's worth thirteen hundred dollars. We have wow. a two, yeah. We have a two night stay at Pacific Shores, an overnight at Tynamara, uh, some gift certificates from Beauty Alchemy downtown, the Vault Cafe, uh, Moto Yoga. I know I'm missing a lot, um, but those are ones I've just picked up recently. So, it's. Yeah, there's a huge array and we're really focusing on uh, just a variety of businesses and a variety of price points. So that way, um, everybody there can bid on something if they if it's something that attracts them. So. So and the other piece is I know that sometimes people want to donate, even if they're not able to attend a function. How do people send money to you if they'd like to participate in that way? Or and and a uh, second part of that question regarding the uh, silent auction is, can people bid for the silent auction and not be there as well? Or are they two totally separate things? So uh, for general donations, uh, they can definitely be done through our website, uh, which is the easiest way because then you can do it from home. And in that you can choose, there's a couple different options. So you can donate to us in general, and then we spend it where we need it. Um, or you can pick specific programs. So David's Place is one of those options. So if you want to know exactly to what program your dollar is going to, then you can make that choice. Um, and then or people mail in checks, they're more than welcome to also drop by our office. We're in a temporary location at the moment at 321 Wallace Street. Um, and then in terms of the silent auction, our hope is we're going to actually have it up online uh, for a few days leading up to the event. So the public can bid on it as well. And then attendees of the event will get the last chance to to bid on items. So uh, it's a kind of an extra bonus for being at the event because public bidding will close prior to the doors opening. Right, right. So, and there are so many things to choose from that I think you need you need to bring your pocketbook and be prepared to uh, to bid on some pretty amazing, amazing things. Once again, could, just for the um, for our listeners, two more things. Number one, we know where it's going to be at the convention center. How much are the tickets, first of all? And second of all, can you give your uh, digits information on how people can get their tickets? Definitely. So uh, tickets are $90 each, uh, or you can get a table of 10 for $750, uh, which makes a little deal. So if you and nine friends get together, you can save a couple bucks on tickets because uh, Parties are always more fun with friends. Always, <laughs> always. <laughs> um, 
And then uh, tickets can be bought, same thing, so easy uh, on our website. So islandcrisiscaresociety.ca under events, you'll see the link there. Uh, or you can drop in our office as well. So at the 321 Wallace Street, or you can call us directly at 250-585-5505. Thank you so much for being on the show today, Jenny, and giving us a little bit more uh, information about what I know will be an extraordinary event. Can't wait to see our listeners there. Thanks for tuning in today on Act 3. Have yourself an amazing day. We'll see you next week. Enjoy. Bye for now. <laughs>